the skyscrapers of the ocean. Why does this increasingly feel like a terrible idea? And again, what task have I yet been set upon which has not left me vulnerable to predation? Yo, Pally, over here. That's you, right? Is that you? Sure. Been waiting long. Ah, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's gonna send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez, what kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Enough. We need to do this fast if we don't want to get caught. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep. Got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. See you around, officer. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Yeah? Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. <laughs> on my way. You've got to be joking. It's the simple things, I suppose. But how oddly fortuitous. Is this blood? What happened here? Records. Locked, of course. Well, up the stairs we go. What the hell happened? Let's see what we can see. Hmm. Where to start? Port seems as good a place as any. What's the weather like tonight? Surprisingly cool. What's the status? That cams and records. I can control that from here. Perfect. Lighthouse. Well, let's not get too cute. Deck cams on. And unlock records. Excellent. Now for the ship reports. No. It was log. Lighthouse. No. We have another layer of security, and it's rather stiff for a cargo tanker. So much blood. And there's a sarcophagus, and it was opened from the inside. I need to see what's in that log. One way. 
or another. A-N-T-O-N-I-O-B-A-Y With caps, October 10th, 2004 Waters calm as we head out of Istanbul. Professor Johansson seemed very worried about the safety of the sarcophagus and various other artifacts from his dig, but I assured him that all was well. Hmm. October 14th. Rough waters last evening. Operations normal, but the crew seems restless. One of the Turks has been telling them ghost stories. I had Lieutenant Steigen take him aside and speak with him. A ghost ship now. I'm neck deep in cliches. October 15th. Nothing to report. Situation normal. Then why report it? October 17th. Two of the crew have gone missing, and I fear they may have fallen overboard sometime during the night. No trace of either. Lieutenant Steigen has tried to contact their families, but something seems to have gone wrong with the radio. We may have a saboteur on board. The crate holding the sarcophagus seems to have been opened. But there was no blood then. October 19th. We have found blood on the upper and lower decks, and it seems that at least three more of the crew are missing. The men are hysterical. I found a Turk in his cabin curled up into a ball, muttering something indecipherable to himself. Lieutenant Steigen is one of the missing crew, as well as the radio technician. One of the men had a shortwave radio, but all calls for help have gone unanswered. This doesn't add up. October 20th. I leave this to whoever may find it. This ship is cursed. May it sink to the crushing depths of Davy Jones' locker before... Before you die, apparently. Something is off here. If it was tampered with, why did the blood only appear later? If it was opened from within, why go back? Did it simply wish for a midnight snack? There's a missing piece to this puzzle. And this piece wanted to make a show. If this was done for hunger, then there would be no blood left behind. This was a slaughter. And yet, there are no corpses. Good boy. Evening. Officer. <laughs> Cheap rope ladders. Can't place a price on quality. Still holding down the fort, I see. Don't catch that sunrise. Now before I get down to business, I have developed a thirst, and I need to ensure I never again experience the putrid taste of sewer rat. Besides, I'm curious as to how business is thriving with the sisters as they are. Business is thriving, I see. Hello again, my doll. I missed you. Did you miss me? Where did we leave off? Oh, I remember now. Hmm. No 
the best thing that's happened to me all night. Well, let's see how you compare. Hey, you. Well, hello. Daddy's here to get a little more sugar. I love my darlings. You want to come play with them? Yes, I just said that. Now come here and fall into my lips. Absolute delight. How could I ever choose just one? If only I could remain in such embraces forever. But ambition calls. Necessity demands. Now on to a donor who isn't quite so delightful. And suddenly this place seems so much less inviting. Hello, Vandal. Sweet girl you sent up. Made the other one seem like sour milk. Real bleeder, lovely thing. Least, she used to be. But she'll live on in your heart, won't she? Need a bag of her? Yeah. In fact, I might need a few. What's this? I see she provided some measure of quality. With respect to funds, I suppose I should take it somewhat easy. For now. I'm happy you've made use of my deposit. Making the world a better place. <laughs> While I'm here, might as well check on the home front. After all, it's not exactly the nicest of neighborhoods. If home is where the heart is, I must be entirely bereft. Now oh, what's this? Epidemic in L.A. Old news. Oh, how I look forward to another day lying in the shower. Did you miss me? Terribly. Judging by the way the boards lit up, I'd say you couldn't live without me. You make me feel so desirable, L.A. So many callers, so little time. She's certainly Maybe feisty, isn't she? Break your heart. I'm here each and every AM. So, so what's new? The first move. The White King moves to protect his pawn. An apt description, and an uncomfortable one. Stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up. My curio. I'll just have to do that. And more spam. Delete. If only I could find each and every spam rat out there and send them to the hell they deserve. What Where? in the actual hell? Caller, you're whiling away the evening with the Deb of Night. Good evening, Deb. Yes, I think that's implied by the title of the show. <laughs> that is an interesting Deb voice. Deb, that the world is going to end. I haven't felt that way since Brad Pitt got married. 
<laughs> I like her. I bet you say that to all the girls. There is a red star in the night sky. The blood of mortals and the blood of ages all will be consumed. They are coming. These are the final nights. Okay, well, good luck in the next election, Senator. Apologies to all you night owls out there, but this girl's got something she's got to take care of for the next few minutes. Here's a little music to keep you up. Interesting. Bill's here. Sounds Gotta like run. another Great insane breakfast. cult found the wonders of technology. I wonder how long until I have to deal with this one. Ah, I shouldn't be so pessimistic. After all, things are looking up, and I have some shopping to do. Ah, oh, I see the mess is finally clean. Nice to see some part of this town which doesn't look like the inside of a dumpster. Mercurio. Anything I can do for you tonight? I need some info for starters. Concerning? People. Who exactly? Oh, the Sabbat. Your typical bloodthirsty movie villain variety vampire. A few years back, I was on bodyguard duty for one of the old boys. Me, a couple of ghouls, and some young vampire types like you. The Sabbat hit us. Tried to pull a dine and dash. Just two of us walked away. And one was the Elder. Lucky you. I had questions about somebody else. Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the Astrolite... Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate L.A., but what are you gonna do? I had some other questions about people. Who exactly? Prince LaCroix. Only seen him a few times. Way I understand it, the guy's untouchable. And I've never seen him without his muscle, that sheriff. Just so you understand, my loyalties are all but written in blood. So my opinion of the guy is moot. Fair enough. I had questions about something else. Concerning? Places. Specifically? Santa Monica. Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators of police here, which is why I like it. Not a beach person, personally, but there are some beautiful sunsets. Guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? Can't say I would. I had some questions about some other places. Specifically? Downtown L.A. Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines' people, LaCroix's people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. Can't say I harbor much love for it myself. I had some questions about some other things. Concerning? Weapons. Specifically? Ooh, a tactical nuke. Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. You're serious? Interesting. I was looking for some other weapons. Specifically? A combat shotgun. What you want is a Spaz-15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. Few nights work. Sounds useful. There's some other weapons I might be interested in. Specifically? A sniper rifle. Not easy, even in this country. Military-grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo can take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. I appreciate it. Hmm, there is one other. Specifically? A flamethrower. Oh, yeah, I get a lot of requests for those. I blame the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. 
They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. <laughs> really? I'll come back when you've got one, thanks. Goodbye, Mercurio. What a surprisingly lucrative ally he's promising to be. The damned fortune teller was right. Don't touch me, please. I wouldn't dream of it. Why is it I still feel I'm being followed? Like an annoying itch I just can't scratch. Hop in. Okay, let's go. Ah, for my long procrastinated mm -hmm. return. I do wonder how he'll take the... You. Hey, uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? That's a hard thing to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. If you want to feel like that, then you're going to have to earn it. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be... important to you. Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Oh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. My dear Heather, what did I ever do without you? I'll see you later. That explains a thing or two. Hello, Chunk. Evening, Chief. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. <laughs> How's it going? Chunk. Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he appreciates that you're here to protect him. See you, Chunk. If only we could all have such dedicated security in our lives. Hmm. That's a thought. I've said all I need to for now. My prince. I'm not interrupting, I hope. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Every crewman on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus? What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. 
Handprints indicate that it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Yeah. Who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Certainly. Is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Thank you, sir. Now, about Grout. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I have a few questions to ask before I go. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Hmm. I had a question about people. Yes. The primogen. They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. I'm ready to go see Grout. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Goodbye, sir. Still the simple errand boy, doing courtesy checks for the rich and powerful. What a waste. I am curious, though, what others have to say about this sarcophagus. Perhaps Max has an opinion he's willing to share. Oh, which way is it? I forget. Perhaps I'll take the shortcut today. <laughs> Hello, Max. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. I have a few questions for you. What is it you would like to know? What do you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that Lacroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think is inside of it? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Oh. Like what? I will say no more. Well then, I'm out of here. Stay safe, Max. So much commotion, or so much ignorance, dead ends. 
Something just doesn't add up. At risk of scraping the bottom of the barrel, perhaps the Anarchs do know something. Chaos is their signature, after all. Hello, Jack. So what'd you find out? It was a slaughter. Whatever was in the sarcophagus killed everyone. No kidding. Well, I guess there's gotta be something in there then, huh? The Camarilla's gonna be scraping for answers when this gets out. You think it was an ancient man? You believe the legends? It's in the air, all right. I've been around longer than most kids. I've felt the change in the past few decades. It's in the blood. We're racing towards something and picking up speed all the time. Yeah. I smell what you're cooking. You've seen the evidence with your own eyes. You're caught up in all of this. Lucky me. I wish I knew where it was leading. So, other than that, what else is new? Still working for LaCroix. Where you headed now? The Hollywood Hills. Why? Why, to find the missing Malkavian Primogen. So a Malk's gone AWOL. Well, if that caught McCroy off guard, I don't know how he's dodged a hundred years of sunrise. I don't especially want to help the Prince. What am I gonna do, Jack? <laughs> Buck up, kiddo. I told you, man. You do what you gotta do. Great. That's real helpful, Jack. Play the game, kiddo. Just keep your eyes open. Hear me? You can help everyone that way. Yeah, I hear you. Later. The wealth of information I'm gaining tonight is destined to leave me destitute. Good evening, Nines. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. Tell me about L.A. L.A.? It's always had problems. Always had a mean streak. Earthquakes, fires, riots. And for the Anarchs, the Camarilla, the Sabbat, the Quay Jinn have all tried to steal it away. People say these nights are bleak, but then, haven't we always been damned? Why L.A.? Seems like all the dreamers, the misfits, the pioneers all drift west. After L.A., though, it's all Pacific. Maybe we all just collect here when there's nowhere else to go. But a lot of us like it here, and we fought to keep it ours for a long time. You must have learned a lot in that time. Any advice? All right, this might help you out. I use guns, but most vamps get up close and personal. In that case, the thing to do is to let them come in for the attack first, and dodge it or take it in the gut. Then use your blade to deliver the death blow. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill. But I doubt it. My appreciation, as always. At least someone had something useful to say. I really wish to be chasing after another lost Malkavian. No. No, I do not. I feel as if I could walk into a random building and find something of more interest. Especially when regarding my recent and rather promising prospects. Which sent me on an insane wild goose chase to find yet another demented lunatic incapable of keeping their own blood on a check. But speaking of random buildings, was it not something of a shoot in an abandoned hospital? Perhaps that could be interesting. This is really my life. I'm really doing this to stave off a Malkavian house call. Help me! Help me! It's got them. It's 
it's, it's coming for me now. It's, it's, it's coming for me. Slow down. What's coming? Who are you? My crew, my crew. We, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist. Haunted L.A. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. What's behind you? Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts, if this, that's all bullshit. We were sitting up downstairs and weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. Wait here. I'll go see if I can find them. No, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Right. It sure is coming, all right. Horrifying. Otherworldly. Interesting. But how to get to you? I have a few. <laughs> no, it was out of nowhere. Right. You stay here and mumble incoherently. I'll be back. <sighs> All right. Looks like this will have to do. I'm going to guess no. Couldn't make this simple, could you? No, no. But at least I'm immune now to asbestos. Hopefully. What is that? Not another poltergeist, no. What did you idiots stumble upon? Were they trying to barricade themselves? Or perhaps keep something in? Now, what do we have here? Expired morphine. I'm certain someone could make use of this. If it isn't camera number two. Catch all that. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Hmm. Someone here is sloppy. But if that isn't the pot accusing the kettle, such a gory waste. Doesn't seem like our Southland slasher, but I can't help but be reminded. <sighs> Onward into the breach. At this rate, I'm going to need a nightly wardrobe. Hello there. How 
curious. Whatever this is, it must know I'm here. And yet it's not aggressive. What a curious sight I've walked into. I suppose you're what's terrorized this lot. Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Is that so? What are you? Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? You have to eat human flesh. We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kind think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. Aptly put. Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. He'll never come down here. He's scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. <sighs> Who am I to argue with a flesh-eating monster? I'll go get him. Oh, please tell me you have a faster way out of here than... Uh, I suppose it beats your crawl space obstacle course. But not by much. Shit. Where did he go? God damn it. What's this? Simon Milligan. The man, the myth, the legend. Suddenly I have a prey more pressing than an Arcavian to hunt down. Goody goody. <laughs> he certainly ran fast, didn't he? But I suspect not very far. Yes, I do have that tasking from very nearby, don't I? So much to do, so little time to do it. Let's take care of the most pressing task first. Though it will be nice to complete some things to further my own ends for once. Sense anything? 
Ah. Here we are. <laughs> knock, knock. Anyone home? You're from the hospital. But in my crew, are they... Are they... It was a joke. They're all waiting for you in the hospital basement. Funny guys. Really? A, a joke? <laughs> a joke! A joke, right! <laughs> oh, real funny. Oh, you got me good. <laughs> I'm going to hurt some people down there. Yeah, you do that. I almost feel bad for him. But I wonder if there might be some way to snag this apartment. It does suit my needs far better. And I desperately require an upgrade. Food for thought. By similar notion, wasn't there a rich abroad living in apartment three? What was it? Nine six four eight. And I spy with my little eye. Nobody home. Quite the lap of luxury. For an apartment in downtown LA, at least. Now what a value might you have? A safe. J-E-W-E-L-S. A promising start. Open Sesame. Was that the elevator? Shit. Figures a stalker would be paranoid of me. Tempting as it may be to take the easy way out. I've seen enough bending of the masquerade of late to cause yet another scene. Rather, I think I'll take my reward and exit stage left. Like it never happened. Nevertheless, so ends my aspirations for a downtown apartment. I think it best to not show my face for a time. Unfortunate. This place was nearly perfect for my immediate needs. Say la vie. Relatively speaking. And while I'm in the area, hopefully I'm just another passing face. Oh, what's this commotion? No matter. Oh there, things are becoming serious. But that's not our problem, is it? Another face in the crowd. One of a hundred every night. 
Even so, perhaps self-sufficiency would serve me better for now. Ah, here you are. You should do nicely. We'll start with the guest logs. P-O-W-E-R. Classy. Oh, I'm curious. Now what was dear Jezebel up to? Nothing, apparently. A parasitic stain. Well, this sounds like a Russian name. One which might begin with Boris. Classy. Let's see if we can find something of import. Maybe in sweets. W E A L T H. Let's go with the Brooklyn suite, I suppose. Ah, so it goes by floor number. Good luck with your investigation, gentlemen. Somehow I doubt there was much left behind. Sixth floor, occupied indefinitely by Boris Chekhov. Ah, Boris. You've been a naughty boy, Boris. Time to pay the piper. Going up. Eventually. If it isn't the most thrilling part of any night, waiting for the damned elevator. My chariot awaits. This is almost beneath me. A simple, unaware, apparently very paranoid human. My, my. How best to untangle this knot. And that the source of the detonation possibly came from a military grade explosive. Authorities say it is still too dance on whether there is some and sleep to these events, though they have not ruled out the possibility. Hmm. Stay tuned to An Channel 3 for further updates. Fall. Police are now confirming that they suspect foul play in the disappearance Quiet, of the Elizabeth you. Dane's crew. I'm listening. There is evidence that suggests the crew or several members of the crew were slain, though no names are being released at the moment. One piece in the Elizabeth Dane's cargo was revealed as the Ankaran sarcophagus. Discovered at a dig in Turkey, the sarcophagus was on its way to the Los Angeles Museum of Natural History for a detailed analysis and exhibition. Authorities are expected to release the sarcophagus to the museum in the next few days. A so much attention is bad for such an innocuous thing. It's become a broken record. ABC always be closing. The diner after they were alerted by the sound by of fire inside, the police have stated that vigilantism will not be tolerated and that the party responsible will be prosecuted to the full extent. <laughs> this is actually therapeutic. I should be wary not to form bad habits. But in the meantime, sleep for me and dream a bountiful Russian women. That's it. Don't worry your pretty little heads. You'll wake up in a better place. I shouldn't rush. I have all the time in the night. Dance, 
my lovely blood bag. And lovely indeed. You look positively scrumptious. <laughs> Why, if it isn't the villain from every 80s action movie? Hasta la vis. Who the hell are you? Let me in. Ah. Good boy. Uh. Hello, Boris. Zaidi. What? Shot was me. I don't understand you. Shutu at the Takoya. Chuart was me. But she mut wu each with foot steel. Who the hell are you? I have business to discuss with you. Well, spit it out before Dima blows your head all over wall. It's a sensitive proposition I have. Uh, Perhaps he should step outside. You want Dima to leave? Why would I allow that? This could get embarrassing for you. I'm looking out for you, Boris. Okay, okay. Iti takda, Dima. Very well. Happy? Now spit it out. Make this quick, eh? Venus sent me. Is that right? She wants the club. Malin Kaya Svolach, stupid, spoiled American child. I give her so much and she spits in my face. She believes she has more than paid for it. So, what, you are her messenger boy? You do work for stupid little girl? You are not man. <laughs> I don't care what you think. You will get nothing from me. Go tell that bitch she can pack up little club. Her name is coming off it. Get the hell out of here. Bashli, go. You misunderstand. I'm not here to negotiate. <laughs> I'm here to kill you, but I will take a tithe on the way out for the trouble. Forget I even exist. I do wish you luck in cleaning up this massacre. <laughs> It's good to be in business for myself, to say nothing of having a replenishing source of blood. Now for the last art lens. You will forget I was ever here. rather thirsty, but then I am about to stop at a bar. Still, how degenerate. Someone really ought to put an end to this wanton violence. Perhaps I should clean up around my club. Though, perhaps, it'll attract the thrill seekers. Such a different feeling when you enter a location and you own it. I could become accustomed to this. If it isn't Jan Aphrodite. There you are. Finished yet? Let's talk in your office. What? Let's talk in your office. Yeah, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay.
so here we are. Boris? Dead. That Boris is blood? Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? You'll see me again. And often, don't worry. Goodbye, Venus. I believe this is the start of a beautiful friendship. One of debauchery, hedonism, pleasure, and profit, of course. <laughs> One might begin to think I'm an incubus. An amusing thought. But there can be no doubt of the power I shall siphon from this place. Oh, they shall be so lucky to be a cog in my ever-growing gear. And I think I know just the perfect soul to start with. So many new tastes open to me, and each smell delectable. And yet how can I pass over a fine Chianti? Well, I suppose a comparison to Pinot Grigio would be more apt. Or Champagne. I digress. A fine taste is worth returning to. Hey, you. There you are. I was beginning to think you ditched me. Ditch you? Only a complete loser would do that. Come here. As fine as always, yet I remain thirsty. It seems I'll need to find another to be fully satiated. Choices, choices. Perhaps a bit of spice wash down the sweetness. Hello. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? You know it. Mm. Let's go somewhere more intimate. You lead the way. Okay. Let's go. I believe I know just the place. Or not. Hmm. Come. Hey, baby. It seems we've been beaten to the punch, my dear. We'll find another. A mite dirty. What it ought to do. Okay, honey. Let's see what you got. Sure. Let me show you.
you see nothing but air. Much heavier security than anticipated. But just as petty. How annoying. But I did wish to challenge myself. sense nothing of my presence. Quite the crowd. What exactly am I stealing? No matter. Curious as I may be, I should stick to business. I suppose it is of little true concern. There is nothing here which poses any honest threat to me. Just how deep does this go? I'm beginning to lose my patience. Speaking of, it is rather fortuitous how dark a rendezvous we decided to set this within. Oh, 
halfway away from the blue chain. They want to see the money, but we can't let them. Was it as good for you? I must admit, while the challenge holds its own reward, the payoff of unleashing said reward is what is truly delicious. Are there no stragglers? It seems most found the better part of valor. Not that I can blame them. It is ultimately for the best. I do hope I didn't become too carried away tonight. The gore at my wake might raise an eyebrow or two. Ah well, no use crying over spilt milk. I am curious as to the extent of my reward. Ah, the sky again. I never thought I would see the day. Relatively speaking. Hmm. With most of the business out the way. I suppose I ought to make that house call. Larry. Partner! I got the briefcase. Outstanding! Pass it over here, partner. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man right here after. All right, 
Let me peel off a few bills for you, and I'll give you a discount from now on. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm going to give me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff, neither. I'm going to order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You want to come? My treat. I'll have to pass. I'm unavailable during the day. But we aren't quite finished yet. My man, what is up? I need to do some shopping, Larry. A Colt Anaconda. It seems like just the upgrade I've been looking for. And with that, I can unload some heavy surplus. I'm sure you can make more use of it than I. And while I'm here, any interest in these odds and ends? A pleasure has always. I wonder how Pisha enjoyed her meal. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Hello again. How goes Mr. Milligan? The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. I understand. About these artifacts you are talking about. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. Fair enough. Tell me about the item you think is in a museum. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. And the other? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. Very well. I have another question. Yes. You seem a bit preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. You eat flesh and study death. I think I'll go. The excitement's just too much. Until the next, Pisha. How very morbid. Like a goth's wet dream. What a satisfyingly productive evening. Though, come to think of it, I do wonder how my ghoul is faring. Going somewhere? Drive. I'll tell you when we're there. 
Lovely evening. Is it really? The crazies of this town. This alley still makes me uncomfortable. I do hope dear Hannah will be at home safe. Sweet home, as lovely as ever. And still nothing new. I see your future as a cat's litter box. My lovely Heather. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is, um, nice. I didn't decorate it. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. Get some rest. I want you to watch over me during the day when I sleep. Oh, you're a night person. Me too. No. You survived because of my blood. I am a vampire. You are bound to me. What? Uh... You're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire, right? I'm afraid not. My blood commingles with your own. A term for you is ghoul. No. No, there's no such thing. You're... This isn't funny anymore. Do you want me to leave forever? To love someone else? No, please don't leave. I don't care what you are. Just don't leave me. I'm not going anywhere, my pet. Don't worry. What can I do to show my appreciation? Tell me a little about yourself. Me? I'm not so special, you know. I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my... My parents died. Um, car crash. I didn't really have anyone special in my life until you came along. How sad. Don't worry. I'm here for you, dearest Heather. <laughs> I feel famished. Share your blood with me. Please, take me inside of you. I will, and you will know ecstasy. Mm. There, there, my dearest Heather. That is but a taste of what I shall provide you. But back to business. Nothing new. Lovely. I shall return soon, my pet. I have a date with a bad man. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. What fortune to encounter such a specimen. Ah, but I'm allowing myself distraction. I really ought to take care and not allow myself to fall into the failures of passion and frenzy. Where to? Drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. 